Can you get, can you guys tell what uh what, what, what cars behind me? Woo! What is up, guys? My name is Thaddeus, and um, uh, I don't really, I don't know what to say, but I'm what the? Okay, so I just got an Audi R8, which is great. But I mean, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you would have known I got this like two days ago. I'm making a video about this now for the channel, cause um, I don't want to leave you guys in the air. But in this video, we're gonna talk about you know um, the mindset and like like guys, this this was four years in the making. Okay, everyone's just like, oh man, he he like you're making money so quick now. It's like no 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 no, <laughs> this took four fucking years. Okay, so I'm talking about you know goals, um, cause that that played a huge 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 role in this and then how I actually was able to afford this like the money breakdown where my revenue streams are coming from um, and stuff like that just so you guys know and then so you guys can just get I guess an idea because you know people are interested in learning about this right but you guys didn't know before I got this car I had a um whoo, just the, before I got this I had a Audi S5 which is the first car I ever bought with my own money um which was cool, and I thought I thought it was the shit, right? I had um, I had this this license plate <laughs> drop out. I said I had that on the S5, which I mean, it's like uh, it's okay, I guess. But now now it kind of makes sense, right? I'm 19, and um, yeah. Oh oh, my paper fell. Okay, but this is what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna get in the car, actually. Okay, we're gonna hop in. I got my Starbucks. No Red Bull today, guys. Unfortunately. I'm trying to cut off on that. I, I read your guys' comments. Everyone's like, bro, you're going to die if you drink so much Red Bull. And so, I don't want to die. I think I have a lot going for me. So, uh, I'll switch up. You don't got the coffee. All right. But this is what I'm talking about. This, this piece of paper, okay? I want to I show you guys this. So, I'm going to put the camera over here. All right. So, look at the date I wrote this. All right. This was written on October 6, 2014. All right. What's the date today? Today is the uh, October 2nd, 2017. So like three years, three years, three years, okay, maybe not four years in the making, three years in the making, okay? Three years for me to get this car, okay, because look, look what I wrote, look what I wrote, okay? Literally right here, I said, okay, first of all, I wanted a BMW i8 originally, okay? That didn't really, <laughs> I test drove it and it, I, I didn't, I didn't like it, okay? So I, I changed it to, all right, guys, the important fact is that you gotta set goals, okay? That's what matters, okay? You might not like be interested in the same goals when you actually are able to get whatever your goal is, right? Um, which is the case for me. But the point part is you, you set these goals and you break it down, right? So this was my, um, look, even the tape is all like nasty and stuff, man. This was like hung up in my room for like entrepreneur life. <laughs> so, okay, so this is what I wrote down though. Buy BMW i8 before I'm 20, okay? I changed that to R8 <laughs> with a little scribble. But before I'm 20, okay? So I'm 19. My birthday is October 15th. That's in... 13 days, okay? I hit this goal that I set three years ago 13 days before my deadline, okay? I like I think that I think I think that's pretty crazy, okay? I the power of setting goals and like the mindset you need to like achieve that and the person you have to become to achieve it, I think that's the most important part. It's like goals are good, they're freaking amazing. Like like when I when, when someone first told me to like write my goals down. I was like, that's kind of weird, right? Like, 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 I know my goals in my head. I'll do it myself, right? But seeing this down, hanging it up with this piece of tape, right? Like this, oh my God, this paper's so old. But hanging it up, like, in your room, every morning I saw that. Whenever I came home from school, I saw that, okay? And that, it's just like, it gets ingrained in you, especially if you look at it every single day and you just manifest it, okay? Like, there were days where I'd, I'd go to car dealerships and... And just sit there and like talk to the dealer like most they won't even say hi to me right but um you go there and then you just stare at the cars right uh, that's what so I did a lot and I'm like it's not it's not about the 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 materialistic things like this car is awesome to me and like I love it and everything like that but it's like the person you have to become to get the car I was a completely different person three years ago all right like I I didn't know like anything about business um I wrote this when I started my first private label e-commerce company okay so this wasn't drop shipping this was like i was making my own like like see this hat right here hold on this hat i actually made this okay this was a one-off um it, it was like it was supposed to be like look i like i even put like like i don't know i tried to make a quality right so like i had the inside even like done and stuff but that was a brand that failed okay um i still i still love the merch guys obviously but that didn't work out just because I, I, I like marketing wise i wasn't that good like inventory management wasn't that good. like a lot of things I just didn't know and I was just trying to get into like just dumping like I just jumped two feet in right and and I drowned uh, <laughs> Couldn't tread water in that bitch, but but this is the thing I learned I learned I got into drop shipping learned that I learned drop I researched drop shipping, and my first site was the one that was doing 2000 a day right from launch when I set up um all my like Partnerships and agreements with like influencers and stuff like that which I talk about my other videos always plug But this is the like th this is the power of goals guys. Okay millionaire by 20 net worth wise. Yes, I hit that Liquidity-wise, no. 
but that's okay because I, I'm like I don't want money just sitting in my bank account. It's not good. Just for just so you guys know, like so, um, like banks, right? If you keep your money in a bank account, um, say you have like a hundred thousand in a bank account in like your savings account, right? You get like one percent interest usually with a bank, so that's 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 a thousand dollars you make a year from keeping that hundred grand in your bank account, okay? Now, what I usually do, and I'm trying to give you guys value and like what like what I think about stuff like that. I'm just hyped. I'm in a fucking all right. Okay, so money in a bank account. Why I don't like to keep it, like I keep six months of all my expenses tucked away, and then I keep like 20k just tucked away. Like that's emergency, and then 6k is like emergency. Like honestly, if I go broke, everything fails, and I can't make something back up in 6k. I don't deserve I don't deserve to be to, to, to be driving this car or like anything like that, okay? That's what I do. But anything else, I wanna keep that money moving. Like you gotta make that money work for you guys, okay? Investing, um, starting more businesses, putting that money into other people who are starting businesses that you believe in and you like see their vision and like uh, believe in, in their startup or something like that, okay? Just making that money work for you, like 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 tell it to dance, man. Like don't don't just let it sit there, okay? Like you like like make it do push ups for you. Oh, that's weird, man. That's a weird analogy, but I'm trying to get like like make your money work for you guys Okay, and some of you guys might not be at that point yet, which is totally totally okay What you need to do is you just got to focus on one revenue stream first Okay, make that one good outsource the shit out of it branch off branch off branch off branch off Okay, and then I'm gonna get to you guys um, in a moment about my different revenue streams and like what what I have um, Going and how how like which ones played like the most important roles in getting this car and in, in a moment here Okay, but like some of these goals right? Um, I mean I just showed you like so we got millionaire by 20 great businesses uh, create business or die poor uh, yeah that's good see this one I wrote when I could own a decent sized modern house with very large 50 car garage like I don't think I need a 50 car garage I don't think I do I mean I'd be happy with like five or ten or 50 I don't give a fuck okay so uh, and then like here's what like when I'm 20 walk into a dealership and buy an expensive sports car in full smile at the guy as he stares in awe okay like I, I was I was a sophomore in high school guys I was I don't, I don't know what else to say. I think that'd be pretty cool, and I actually do have plans with a buddy of mine. We're gonna try and buy G wagons, two G wagons together in cash, um, in like three months. Like I'm trying to hit these goals, guys. Even like and like this, like I have other ones like uh, was it invest in real estate, um, like this one, uh, make bank and change the world. You know it, but like like I want to start a space. Pro let's, let's let that focus. Like like way way down the line, guys. Like when I'm older, I want to start a space program. Okay, so I don't know that that's like my huge 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 goals. Elon Musk is like killing it right now. I don't know if you guys just watched what he just released for SpaceX, but okay, that's the thing. But yeah, okay, so that's that's the goal, guys. Like always, always like write down your goals. Okay, like I, I can't stress that enough. You got to write them down. And then like this is not the only paper I wrote down, guys. This is a very very simple. This is a very simple layout. Okay, what what you want to do is you have like a a master plan, right? These are like like your big big idea goals. Then you gotta get a po like literally grab a poster board go to michael's buy a freaking poster board and break it down right if you want a car by 20 or 19 or if you want to make 10,000 a month 100,000 a month 20,000 a month you got to break it down like how the fuck are you going to make 10k a month what do you need to do does your dropshipping site need to make $18,000 in revenue for you to make 10k profit a month or something like that right what do you need to do to make that okay if you need to make 18,000 profit like, or in revenue for your dropshipping store for your first store so that you can make 10k a month like, how are you gonna do that? How much do you need to make a day, okay? How many, like, and then, like, once you know how much you need to make a day, you have to, like, think about, okay, what do I need to do to make that much every single day? How many, ad, like, influencer shadows do I need to buy? How, like, how much should I be spending in Facebook marketing? All that kind of stuff, like, break it down, guys, as much as you can so that your goals don't become just, like, an idea out there. Your goal, like, you literally have a roadmap. You know exactly what the hell you need to do to get there, okay? Like, that's, I can't stress that more enough. Like, having, having, like, I know, like, oh, man, it's just, like, you gotta, like, like look at what you want and then work backwards, okay? Like, break every single step down and figure out exactly what you need to do. And then it just becomes, like, it becomes, like, a cheat sheet. Now it's just, like, you're cheating life because you already know how to do everything. Like, you know what you need to do to get where you want to be. It's, like, it's not just, like, oh, yeah, I want to buy this car when I'm 20. Okay, how are you going to do it? A lot of people don't know. They're just, like, they just want it, okay? They just want it. And, like, like everyone wants nice things or wants to do cool things or wants, like, to be, um like, like super successful or something like that. But... If you ask them how they're gonna do it, they don't have a very, very detailed plan most of the time. Um, they're like, "Oh yeah, I go to college, get my degree, become a doctor, become successful. Awesome. Well, how many years are you gonna be? How like how many years are you gonna be in medical school? Are you gonna open up your own firm afterwards? Like, you gotta like practice under someone, right? For how many years? Like, you gotta break everything down so you know exactly when and where and what you're gonna be doing when you're older, or just where you wanna be like in in the near future, anything like that, right? So break everything down, guys. Like. I can't stress that enough like the power of these goals and seeing it every day and then having a plan you know exactly what you need to do you just gotta figure out now how to actually do that right and it's not like it's not like once you break it down it'll be super easy but now you know what you need to do right if you need to, if you know you need to buy like two shout outs every single day from influencers to try and get that because you know that when you buy one shout out you make like hundred and fifty dollars like I don't know I'm just throwing numbers out right like from from a small page okay but say if you need say say, say you make 
$500 off of one shout out, okay? And you spend $100 on the shout out, okay? That's $400 there. Now you factor in your cost of goods, all that other stuff. Maybe you like come out with $300 in profit, okay? Now you got like, okay, that one shout out equates to $300. Uh, you can't like keep running shoutouts on that page like a lot or you'll saturate the market, the market, the audience, right? Um, but you might be able to get away with two a day, two shout outs a day on that page. That's $600 profit a day, okay? If you can make $600 profit a day, how much are you make in a week? How much like, obviously you can't keep running with that page. You got to like, like expand, experiment, stuff like that. Figuring that, figuring out like those numbers and then planning it out is so, so important, guys. I just want to like inspire you guys to like do like amazing things with their lives and just figure it out because like again i like if you go to my instagram or anything else public facing i don't talk about business ever like ever okay i don't want to brand myself as a guru um but drop shipping is literally what what allowed me to branch off into all these different industries and and like get me where i am today that's why like i make videos about it okay and to sell my course 25 percent off link about you always plug but but that's the thing it's, it's, it's like, it's just crazy how I can like change people's lives. I get so many DMs guys and people are like, yo, I watched your videos. Um, I like tweaked a few things and like, I'm finally profitable or something like that. Or like, I just got my first sale because of your videos or someone bought my course and they're like doing like, oh yeah, I just had 2000 my first week. It's like, holy shit. Okay. That's fucking awesome. Like I'm changing people's lives. Okay. And that's, that's what I want to be able to do. And that's why I make these videos. Okay. Cause I don't, <laughs> I don't want to brand myself as a guru. I don't want people to think of me like, oh yeah, he's the guy that teaches people about drop shipping. No, if you go to my Instagram or in my social profiles, like my, especially my Instagram because that's like my main one that I'm on you go there and you you like people have no idea what the hell I do okay only it's like it's like a little secret between like everyone on this YouTube channel and like us like like you guys know what I do but no one else does like not a single person okay even close friends I don't talk about business like this is the sp the, sp the specifics of my businesses like to even my closest friends okay or my business partners I do which I consider close friends but like my old high school buddies or something like that I don't talk specifics okay I just tell them like yeah I do a few businesses in a few different industries blah blah, blah. that's usually the whole convo but yeah so that's like our little secret guys but uh, I'm gonna get out of the car real quick hit my head give you guys a little tour of the car I mean I just think it looks Really not. I, th I think I'm gonna black out the uh, the wheels, but um, I think it looks mean. I think it looks mean right now. I'm just gonna walk around the car real quick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, good stuff, good stuff. And then we got the, the license plate, the engine, the tab. Okay, that was that was a walk around, guys. Call me a uh, call me car reviewer. Okay, so um, what actually now, now I want to break down the revenue streams like what actually allowed me to afford this right um, first of all first of all, I'll hop back in the car It was just getting a little toasty in there first of all drop shipping. Okay, um, that's what I live and preach by I don't actually like manage my own personal drop shipping sites right now. It's all outsourced Okay, but I got started my first dropping site drop drop shipping site was doing 2,000 a day I used that and I branched out. I, I owned a total of eight drop shipping stores. Okay, but now I, there are six active two I don't actually run anymore and like, like they're shut down, but the six other ones are active. Um, again, guys, a lot of you guys ask me for my sites. I'd sometimes tell you guys if you DM me, but I never make it public. And I, like, that's what I want to tell you guys too. When you're posting your website down in the comments or something like that, like that's why if people ask me to review their site, I tell them like, yo, message me. Cause a lot of people, if they see a good website, they're gonna copy you. They're gonna steal what you're doing. Especially if like someone's good at marketing and they're just looking for a good idea or a good website or something like that to, to just recreate and then market it better than you. That's a problem, right? So just just be careful, guys, about sharing your website and stuff like that. If you do want me to review it, just DM me on Instagram or, or you know just buy the course and hop in the Facebook group because you know we're we're all friends in there. But but that's yeah, just don't share your sites, guys. Okay, so after drop shipping, right? So I have six sites that are running currently right now as we speak. Um, I have a, I have one more that's being made right now that's going to launch uh, tomorrow actually. That 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 doesn't that didn't never counted towards the towards towards this car. Um, what now after drop shipping? I moved into software. Okay, I don't know how to code at all. I literally have no idea how to code. I, I had an idea. I like schemed it out. I like you find software developers and you meet with them and you like lay them like like sign an NDA and then you give them the idea and you tell them like all right make this for me because um, I like I don't know how to code but that's the software. Okay, um, that that made really good money for about eight months. Uh, I didn't spend any of that. I just kept that all in, in my in, in, in savings just because I was like I didn't really know what to like this was this was a few months ago I didn't I didn't really know exactly what 
to do with the money I was making just because I don't really have any very large like overheads or personal expenses like I don't have I don't have kids I need to like care for or, like pay pay for their soccer practice or something like that I'm, I, I'm sitting in the parking lot of where I used to um, play soccer guys uh, back in my high school days but that's that's that so after from software I moved into SaaS which is kind of like software but it's like subscription services so like, you have a website and they're, they're paying for some some form of subscription for some sort of service that you're doing okay like software as a service I think it's or subscription as a I don't it's, I don't even know what SaaS means, but I should know this. But that that's what I do. And then I moved from there to social media marketing. I launched that. I am a 25% equity partner. I, I launched it originally being a 55% equity partner, but I didn't want as much, what do you call it? Um, uh, da, 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 responsibility in that business. This is because me, like I like to create stuff and then outsource it and then move on. That, that's me. I don't want a bunch of equity in something, which requires me to put in a bunch more time, um, a lot more often. That's not, that's not, that's, sorry, I just got a text. Um, that's, that's not what I like to do. So I don't another partner. There's three partners in that social media marketing company. I'm a 25% owner. We work with clients, mostly in the restaurant industry, okay? So we we originally wanted to do real estate industries. Like like we do social media marketing for uh, uh, real estate firms or, you know, uh, agents that are selling properties. Um, we, we, all, like, we almost closed a $150,000 real estate development deal for an apartment complex that's being built up but we jumped we like we, we backed out of that one we didn't really like 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 our specialty is restaurants okay so necessarily real estate marketing um i think every industry you got to like really really dig in and like figure out how you're going to market it how like how you're going to find the audience like especially real estate you got to find um, actually, I won't even get into that, but social media marketing for restaurants, okay? That's what that's what we, are, we currently do. Oh, again, that's all white-labeled, guys. Um, so, like, for essentially, so uh, the other two partners, they go out and find clients, they close them, and I work with a white-label company that fulfills all the advertisement. So, literally, we're just like a front... Again, guys, in this day and age, right? at least right now, or like, like for the next few years, the, the, the prime spot to be in is the middleman, okay? That, like, dropshipping, you're the middleman. Um, our social media company, we're the middleman, but it looks like we're the front man. <laughs> like you, you guys know what I mean so like, we get clients we take them on everything is white label so it looks like our brand and like it, it's completely legal too but we're working with other companies that are really good at advertising just like we don't have to spend our own time crunching numbers and advertising for them so we outsource to someone who we know gets results and then they do all the marketing and then we just close clients okay obviously you have to sacrifice a, a, a large portion of your profit or like revenue to that out like that white label company but Again, you do almost no work in like fulfilling like fulfilling ad advertising. Okay, so that's a social media marketing company. Then from there, I also do content creation for like brands, influencers, stuff like that. Um, if you guys pay my Instagram, I got some decent photos on there. So like that that's kind of what we do. We work with like I recently just worked with a car dealership, uh, made an advertisement for them that they're throwing on TV and uh, over the internet and stuff like that. Um, just pictures, videos, advertisement, that stuff. That's a little bit more grunt work, but like I just personally enjoy that. Like when I go there, that, that kind of just clears my head because I like taking photos and doing content creation stuff like that. But those those are my main revenue streams right now. Okay, software, content creation, social media marketing, SaaS, e-commerce. Um, and then, and then we got me and my buddy. I, like a lot of you guys know Josh Jet Set Fly on Instagram. Um, we got a huge project launching soon called X Commerce as a Facebook page. Make sure you go like that. But that's that 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 one's launching soon. That's literally gonna. Oh my god, it's gonna change so many people's lives. It's fucking crazy. I just can't wait for that. It's just so much work to get it up. But yeah, those are my revenue streams, guys. And the the one that played. The, oh wait, I forgot to say the course too. I don't want to like hide that from you guys. Um, the course makes good money. It's probably third or fourth on my revenue stream list right now. Uh, probably fourth. It's a close one with there, but I think it's fourth. Yeah, it's fourth on my revenue generation right now. But that that like the thing with that is like it like I, I don't I don't say that to like try and sell you guys on it, but like the course is good. It works because people are like there's a lot of people buying into it, and a lot of people getting results. Okay, that's the crazy part. And like this is my chance to plug, but like it's it's working like which is something i'm so happy about because i get so much feedback and you guys are just like thank you so much for the course i love it i got my site going up and i'm launching soon or like i had my first sale or like i did 2000 my first week like stuff like that and like i maybe at the end of this video i'll like show you some screenshots or like show you the facebook group page and like everyone posting their like results and questions and stuff like that which is so awesome but um the course is another revenue stream too the ones that played the biggest in getting this car though was software okay software social media marketing um those two were my main down payment, uh, or like those two revenue sources were like used for my down payment basically. Um, and then everything else is kind of just in my bank accounts now. I'm looking at investing in an apartment complex. Um, I'm investing in my personal brand to get big on YouTube for my uh, vlogging when I start that, guys. I was check out that channel too, because there's a whole pickup video about me getting my car that I'm dropping on there soon. Um, if you actually care about me as a person and not just the business side of things. But 
that's that. That's what I use. I did not buy this car in full. Um, I don't think I'd ever buy a car in full unless I have fuck you money, which is what I'm doing for the the G wagons because I'm doing that for content uh, for my vlogging channel, which you know I'm like starting up soon. Um, so that's the only reason I'm buying that car in full. But this car I'm not buying in full. I, I put um, I put about. I'm 19, so I put 35% down. Originally, like with most cars, you can get 10 or 20% down, but I have no credit history, guys. I'm 19, okay? That's, that's the thing. Credit is so important, guys. And I I, I bought a course on credit uh, just, just so I could, like, figure this out because I, like, I don't know anything about credit, right? So if you don't know stuff, you invest in yourself to learn it, okay? And, like, yeah, you can go online and research from, like, a thousand different blog articles that are all trying to, like, sell you some sort of affiliate something. Um, that's the thing. If you go to a blog, right, and you go and click, like, how to improve my credit or, like, or just, like, what, what, like, how, how to get approved for a loan or something at 90, like, something like that, right? You'll get taken to a credit blog. Most of the times, they, they give you some information, and they're like, hey, if you want to learn more or something, click this link here, or, like, or, hey, apply for a loan through this bank credit, and they have a link there, and it's a fucking referral link, right? So, they're making money. Obviously, they're probably, like, providing value. They're like, I don't have a problem with that, but I just straight up bought a course from a buddy of mine um, that just talked about credit. <laughs> and that, that helps. I'm like, I, I'm good now, so... That's that guy. I did not buy this car in full. I don't think I ever will buy any car in full. Um, just because you like you can make that. You can. Oh my god, you can invest that money, make so much more from it in like the meantime. So that's that's that guys. Like those are my main revenues. If you guys have questions or something, leave them in the comments. I reply to everyone's comments. Like, comment, subscribe. I think this was a little bit of a longer type video, but I hope it's informative and I hope it inspires you guys. Like I'm 19 in a super. I didn't think I'd do like five months ago. Yeah, no, six months ago I bought my S5. Okay. Six months ago, I bought an S5 with my own money. That was my first like, oh yeah, I bought my car with my own money. That was six months ago, guys. And in six months time frame, I leveled up big time, okay? It's like having a sense of urgency, writing your goals down, giving yourself a deadline. I told myself I needed to buy a supercar before I'm 20. I turned 20 in 14 days, 13 days, okay? 13 days. And I, I, I said that three years ago, okay? So like... Like that, that's kind of kind of close, but like like guys, this was three years in the making. Everything was planned. Okay, there's no like luck about this. Um, obviously, you got to be like on your feet and ready to adapt to different like opportunities and situations and stuff like that to capitalize and like grow from it. But like, like I don't even know. I'm just I'm just trying to inspire you guys like to just do great things with your life and just I gotta make a lot of money. Right, this is a business channel, so make that money. But um, that's the video, guys. I don't. I don't know what else I should say, but um, yeah, I mean, maybe maybe I'll walk, like, I'll, I'll show, like, after this, I'll put some music, or I don't even know what I'll do, but I'll show some screenshots of the people in the course showing their, like, like results and stuff like that, if you guys are, are interested. I always plug, you know, I gotta plug, but you can get 25% off, link in the description right below, guys. Um, I'm not, like, like trying to, like, hide anything from you, like, the course does make me a lot of money, but that's because it's good and it works, okay? People wouldn't be buying it if it doesn't work, like, <laughs> okay? I don't, I don't know what else to say to that, but that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. There will be a lot more videos coming soon. I have so many, like, ideas um, and just how to, how, how to help you guys. Like, I, I have an Evernote that I just made a huge list. I know I haven't uploaded recently. Um, that's because, like, this car was such a headache, guys. Again, credit is so important. My God, I was working with a bunch of people trying to figure this out. But that's the deal. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. But, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.